Okay, I will go with you. Allah, he cannot have a son. He is big. Is that why Jesus have no sons? <laughs> why Jesus has no sons and wives in the Quran? I'm going with you. Allah does not have a wife and he don't have a son. Well, that is the description of Jesus because Jesus, he never had a wife and he don't have sons. Are you going to worship Jesus now? Like you, stupidity. And you know, if Allah, he is higher than having a son, why he is saying, if we would like to have a, a, a wife, we would take it from us. If he is higher than that, you see, he just said, I will take it from us. If we would like, I will take it from us. So is, it, is your God is it stupid? Jesus is the only prophet. You, you are answering the question. You said that God is higher than having a son or having a wife. Jesus never had a wife and never had a son. He is a miracle of Allah. Prove it. Allah could not do any miracle of Jesus. You see, the Muslims, they lie to us. They say that Jesus himself is the miracle of God, aka Allah. But the God of Islam, he cannot do anything Jesus did. In fact, he's an idiot. As an example, he explained the earth as a flat and the sun goes every day to take a dip in a muddy, murky water, and the baby is made from the backbone sperm, and women have a sperm coming from her ribs. So if Allah is God, shouldn't he knew at least, I mean, if he's the creator who created Jesus, shouldn't he knew how a baby is created? I never met a Muslim who's smart, to be honest with you. I'm not insulting anyone. Never, never. The only smart Muslim is the one who is left Islam already or is in his way to leave Islam. In fact, I can show you a video of Muslim scholars saying that a Muslim should not use his brain because if he does, if he does, he will leave Islam. In fact, this is in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Let us see. In the stupid Quran, <clears throat> we have tons of verses, hilarious, but just to give an example, sorry, I'm getting, I'm making you blind now. Oh, who you believe, ask not about things which if made the plain to you. may cause you trouble but if you ask them while the Quran is being revealed they will be made plain to you so what the purpose of the Quran verse number two because there is a narration before you they ask the same question and they become disbelievers do you see it And now if I go right now and talk about a Muslim, he should tie his brain the same as he tie a donkey. Am I going to find the video? I will. Let me see.
Here we go. I found I found one. A Muslim he should tie his hair, he should tie his brain the same as he tie a donkey. Am I lying? Anyone who speak Arabic? He understand. In fact, the title. Let me let me use Google Translation. Hold on. At least for the title. Give me a second. <laughs> Every Muslim should tie his brain the same as you tie a donkey. When you come to Allah, you don't use your brain. You don't. You will be in trouble. Otherwise, you cannot come to Allah. Okay, I use Google Translation for the title. Muhammad Hussein Yaqub, Sheikh. The mind is the donkey. Now, translation is not really accurate. And here there's a comment. And according to Sheikh Muhammad Hussein Yaqub, the donkey must be, be, be tied before thinking about religion. Translation is not accurate. He's speaking about the mind is a donkey. And must you must tie up your donkey, which is your brain, before you think about religion. This is what the Muslims do when they teach their kids. The brain is a donkey, and you have to tie up your donkey. Because if you don't tie up your donkey, you will leave Islam. Do we have any Muhammadan he did not tie up his donkey yet? Oh, we are talking about the donkey. I'm not going to mention the story of Muhammad asking the donkey if he liked females and then turn to be that the donkey he is a gay. He said to him, oh, oh, I don't like females. Have you ever heard of a donkey he is a gay? A donkey he don't like females why however there's a nicer story about the Burak the donkey which took Muhammad to fly When Muhammad wanted to ride the donkey, this donkey, he don't want Muhammad to ride him. And then Jibreel said to him, Shame on you, donkey. Do you know who is this? This is a prophet Muhammad. To donkey, he put his head down, full of shame. He didn't know that this is Prophet Muhammad. In the beginning, he didn't want him to ride him. The second he heard that he is the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad himself. He felt... He felt so much ashamed of himself. And the funny is that this donkey, he have, he have a face of a human. Any Abdul? Let's see if I can find this hadith. This one will be fun, hold on. But if we can find it. No, here we go. It's not exist in this website.
Look at this. See this one. Muhammad, he don't lie. Look at this. Look at this story. Beautiful story. Full of reality. Al Burak was brought to Prophet Allah pray on him, not for him. Saddled and uh, arraigned, but he shed from him. Can you believe it? So Jibreel said to him, You do this to Muhammad? You stupid donkey, you do this to Muhammad? By Allah, there is no one more honorable to your Lord than him. The donkey, when he heard this, his ass started sweating and dripping. What do you think about this story? It must be true. Mahmoud, put yourself in the shoes of this donkey. The prophet will ride you, and I know you love it. You do not know that this is a prophet Muhammad. And you refuse to let him sit in the top of you. And then the angel Jibreel says to you, Shame on you, you stupid donkey son of Muta. You stupid donkey a hole. Do you know what are you doing? Do you know that this is the most important person to Allah? The donkey, he heard this. Oh boy. No, what the heck I did. What I did. You have no idea what he is doing. must be true story if there is any witness for the stories of Muhammad nobody who was there nobody who saw it nobody yeah I'm opening my heart to the beauty of Islam exactly any Muhammadan I mean, name for me one thing Muhammad he said is not stupid. He's storing the dish of wisdom. Muhammad takes shower with dead dogs. Uh, okay, hold on. We have endless stories. I mean, time is not helping me. It's already one hour and 36 seconds. I promised myself to make my video short, which is usually seven, eight hours only. And you know, the funny is, after I finish my video, like the, the last video, I have somebody, he said, he want to be hidden me. A person who left Islam. A person called me and he started showing me his ass and his penis. Uh, uh, you know, I, I mean, we spoke about tons of things and then nobody have a comment to, to make in the, in the chat. I mean, can you look, look how the comment is coming like rain in the chat. The second we finish here, nobody make a comment. As if I said nothing, they heard nothing, they are dead. Chat, they are heroes. The chat cannot stop, even we have to make it slow. After we finish, they are gone. Which means there's a lot of people coming here for a chat. That's why I get upset. I want people to learn, I want people to see the truth, I want people to help me to spread the truth, I want people to think with me, not only me thinking for you. And I don't see that most of the time. There's only a few people. I know them by name. They are the same people who keep coming. They post verses from the Bible, from the Quran, refuting Muslims. The same few people. The rest, they are useless. Who is a Muslim here would like to join us? Until now, zero Muslim is texting me. Any Muhammadan. Did the surgery hit Muhammad? Obviously did not help. I mean, Muhammad after the surgery is just so stupid. 
As an example, Muhammad now decided to become a doctor. Muhammad, suddenly he become a doctor. A person, he come to Muhammad. And this is in Al-Bukhari, which is very authentic. Muhammad is the kind of a doctor, if he stuck with the medicine, that's it, until he changed his mind about a new medicine. So a man came to the Prophet and said, my brother has some abdominal, sorry for the spelling the word wrong, I do it on purpose, not because I'm not speaking good English, absolutely not. Uh, trouble. The Prophet said to him, let him drink honey. I mean, have you ever heard a person, a doctor like this? He claimed that Allah told him what the problem. He did not ask him, what else? Tell me, you know, where is your brother? What happened? No, just let him drink honey. The man came second time and said to the Prophet, well, he is getting more ill. You know? He said to him, let him drink honey. He come third time and he said to him, he's getting more ill. I have done that. Then the Prophet shout and says, Allah has told the truth. And your brother's stomach is lying. And then the guy, so let him drink honey. And the guy never came back. And the Muslim, they say he was cured. <laughs> he never came back because Muhammad almost killed him. He just told him, your brother, I mean, have you ever heard of a doctor? You say to him, my stomach is hurting. You say to him, Allah told the truth and your stomach is lying. <laughs> that, is a, that is a serious doctor. Your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. The guy, he make people in his pants and said, he said to himself, the terrorist, he will order his terrorist gang to kill me now. Hmm? Your, your stomach uh, told a lie? And then a guy never come back, and the Muslim, they're saying he was cured. And here, if you ask guys, why Jesus, they say Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. Muslim, they say Jesus is a prophet of Allah. How come Jesus, he make the person cure without giving him honey? He did not need to come second time. A third time, <laughs> he did not need to scream at him and say to him, your stomach is lying. <laughs> Muhammad, he is the best doctor in the world, sponsored by Allah. <sighs> My friend, you, Jesus, he say Allah, he'd abandon how many version of the Bible you have. Please do respect. Hey, Abdul, we have many versions of the Bible as a translation. However, you have many versions of what you call original. <laughs> you see, Mahmoud, are you sure you are not working for Christian Prince and you are not paid by him? You see, you idiot, when the Christian, they say the uh, King James Version, this is a translation of J King James. So we have many of translations, and you have the same, you have many, so this is what version means. But however, let me show you, your prophet himself giving us another proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. Muhammad, because he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly, he been exposed to something very unique. Once, two Muslims, They had a fight. And what the fight was? <clears throat> One Muslim here recited the Quran, but he recited different from other Muslim he heard it. So this Muslim, he said to the other Muslims, what are you doing? This is not how the Prophet said. The other guy, he said to him, I swear by Allah, Shin, this is how he did it. <laughs> so they, you know, they grabbed each other and he took him to Muhammad. And there, Muhammad, he told 
the first one you recite the verse he did he said to him you are right you are correct he said to the other one you recite the verses he said he recited he said to him you are correct too how they can be correct how the same verse have different words Muhammad now need to fix it Muhammad now need to duck David Muhammad told him another lie to cover the previous lie that he's a prophet that Allah he sent me the Quran in seven way of recitation which means seven ways of different words and what is the how this happened nobody heard of that until those Muslims they fight together nobody before heard Muhammad never this is why they are fighting nobody heard that Muhammad he received Quran in seven ways seven ways did Jesus receive his book in seven ways what about Moses Ibrahim Ishaq Isaac Jacob only Muhammad received seven ways that's deep and the funny is the story which Muhammad he made up showing you how stupid he is even though they did the surgery for him he claimed that when Jibreel came to him to give him the Quran Muhammad said to him I beg your law burden my people are so stupid they cannot handle it <laughs> and the what one Quran is not enough my people are so stupid so he came second time third time fourth time and each time Allah agreed with Muhammad and he gave him a new Quran and that they become seven Quran nice story and now where we can find them we don't even have one of them and here you guys you need to ask yourself uh, Jana you know if you have a question about donating this this is not you see I go live I go off live I don't talk about donation we don't talk about donation here you want to donate you can go to patreon others because they worship money they keep posting a link for donation donate 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 so if you have a question this is not the topic not the time and you know you're being like and I mean you're taking me out of my topic so Muhammad now trying to cover himself and by trying to cover his lies as a prophet he get himself busted because look what this ha will do to us and I want you to think with me why Allah need to send seven Quran if Allah is a good writer isn't it the Muslim they say that the Quran nobody can write like it Are you with me? Imagine I have I have four books, right? Imagine I have to write each one of them seven more times so you guys can understand it or you can uh, you can handle it. So what he just said to us showing us that Allah cannot make one book which is good to everybody he have to correct his book second time third time fourth time fifth time sixth time seventh time and after seven times still nobody understand the stupid book So what Muhammad he did by saying this story, which is very authentic, as you see, he proved to us that Allah cannot be God. Because if God is almighty, he can make a book so perfect. Having seven books for one book, proving to us that he cannot make it. Are you with me?
You know, when I was in the Middle East, and then when I ask a question to the teacher, the teacher, he don't even see my hand. No, not you, not you. Hey, not you again. I don't have an answer. No, 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 they have a big, you know, they, 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 they have like a, a piece of rag in the top of their head is enough to, 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 to cover a wound of 10,000 soldiers. They claim to be big shake. Their, their beer is touching their belly bum. The second you ask them a question, no, 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 not you, not you. First of all, you are Christian. This is not why you are here. Why you are here? Sir, I wanna, you know, and the Muslim they like to invite me to the classroom of the Muslim class because they thought they would convert me, you know, like yeah, yeah, come with us, come with us. I say sure, sure, yeah, let's go, you know, let's go. And I go there and I give them a screwdriver one after one. If this is a God and he wrote a book, why he need to rewrite the book seven times? And yet the people cannot handle it until now. Same time, look what happened now. The Muslim they say, we recite the Quran. Brother Sita, we Muslim, we memorize the Quran. Everything can but memorize the Quran. But nobody understands it. And which Quran you memorize? Which one of them? And as you see, your prophet he says, My people cannot handle it. So one Quran is not enough. So if you memorize the Quran, you are not memorizing the Quran, you have to memorize seven Quran. And after memorizing seven Quran, if there is somebody which does not exist, doesn't even have one single copy of those seven Quran. After seven Quran, still nobody can explain to us one verse in the Quran. And this is why we open our Skype and nobody dare to call us. The only one keep calling me because he's so brave is Zachary Naik. Zachary Naik, I offer him to debate. They answered me in Facebook a long time ago. They said, you have to bring 2,000 people to Malaysia. Where? No, I think at that time it was India. Two th I have to bring with me 2,000 people. I have to go there. And to show you that Muhammad is more stupid with his stories, he made a verse in the Quran saying that Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. What the heck? Allah will write Quran better than the Quran? How you do that? And now the Muslim, they were refuting me, they say, it doesn't say that, CP. Look at this translation. Whatever a verse, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? We bring better one or similar. Have you ever heard of something stupid like this before? You idiot, you just said you abrogate. What do you mean you bring something better or similar? And what make it more stupid is similar. So why you abrogate it if it is going to be similar? So we abro and why we are causing the Quran to be forgotten? I thought nobody shall forget the Quran. It turned to be that the Quran itself confirmed that the Muslim forget the Quran and Allah caused them to forget the Quran. And Allah will for make you forget the Quran and He will send you better Quran. How Quran can be better than Quran? And then to make it more poo, -poo He said, or similar. So, what the purpose of forgetting the Quran? Why you make them forget the Quran if you are going to make them have similar Quran? Are you mental? What did you eat, Muhammad, before you write the, those, those verses? Anyone?
Hmm? If you read the interpretation of this verse, you will see that the Arab, they say, this Muhammad, funny Muhammad, he says something in the morning, he forbid it second day. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, brother. He say it in the morning, he changes his mind second day. Look how fast, man, technology. He says something, he gave them a verse. People, they start complaining. What the heck with you, Muhammad? Are you stupid or what? Second day, Muhammad, he gives them different verse, the opposite. And this is a better verse. Because he's a fraud. Let us go and see the interpretation. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. It doesn't say that, CP. Huh. Read with me. Is that my words? Is that my website? Is that my translation? This is the official government of the fraud king of Jordan. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Interpretation of the biggest scholar, one of the biggest scholars of Islam, al-Jalalain. When did this believer began to dread, dirt, the matter of abrogation, saying, ha, 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 Muhammad, Muhammad enjoins his companion to one thing, and then the second day he forbid it. <laughs> the second day, Muslims. I mean, at least wait until the ink you wrote, the verse is dry. You enjoy them in order one day. The second day you change your mind and you abrogate. Second day, Muhammad, you have a fast customer service. The fastest ever. He want to give you better Quran? The Quran he received yesterday, it was from Rush Lumbo. Allah was in the rush. He wrote the verse when he was in the dush. And the ink was not good. So the word came bad. Allah, he sent it down. Muhammad opened the dish. After he received the dish of wisdom, he gave the Muslims the Quran. The Muslims, they start laughing. Ha, 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 ha. What the heck is this, Muhammad? Muhammad complained to Allah. Muhammad, he says, oh boy, touching his head. Sorry, Muhammad. This is the verse was not sent to you. It was sent to Christian prince. Huh? You sent the verses to Christian prince? Exactly. And you told him, in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women? Exactly. Have you ever heard of a stupid prophet like this? In the case of murder, a free man will be killed for a free man. Slave for a slave, women for... Which means, if a white Arab, he killed a slave, the Arab white man will not be killed. What a wonderful justice. If a man killed your wife, you kill his wife. You don't kill him. How smart, Muhammad. Genius. And you ask the Muslims, do you practice this verse? They say to you, no, 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 no. This is abrogated, abrogated. Look, what the heck? Why it's abrogated? Because people, they start laughing at him. Oh, who you believe? Al-Qasas, which means the punishment is prescribed for you in the case of murder. Free for the free, slave for the slave, a female for the female. That will be so good if the female is Nancy Balusi. <laughs> what the heck? This is the law of justice? A free man he will not be killed if he killed a slave or if he killed a woman. No, no, no. If he killed a woman, you kill his women. How smart. How genius. How beautiful. Who can come with such a... And then, to prove that this is funny and stupid, Ask any Muslim, they will say to you this verse as abrogated. I mean, you see, this is uh, this is uh, about justice. Why you abrogate justice? Why you abrogate justice? Do justice change by time? I 
I'm trying to fail asleep. You want to fail asleep? Okay, just let me play for you the speech of uh, Joe Biden. <laughs> Oh boy, as you see, my friends, I have my Skype open for the last almost two hours. Not a single Abdul. We are here exactly for two hours. Yeah, two hours. Not a single Abdul. Two hours and 30 minutes, maybe. Are we? I don't know. YouTube is confusing. Not a single Abdul he dared to call me. However, we as a Christians, we have to confess that Muhammad was so smart. Otherwise, you tell me why he said that the man, he should shake his penis three times after he pee. Once, and this is a true story, by the way, I told the guy, shake it four times. He came out from the bathroom and almost he wanted to kill me. He said, did you know what you did to me? I said, what? He said, it came out. Hey Muslims, can you tell me why three times you shake your penis? Huh? And why you put a cotton in the anus? Is it true 99 drugs will go inside your anus? Is it true that two angels will ask you questions when you are dead? And they have a hammer of Thor and they will hit you on your head and you go down 70 cubits down if you don't get the correct answer? All of those coming from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the smart genius person. Alone? Are you sure he did not ask somebody to help him with those stories? What about a Jassasa? The story of a Jassasa by itself is a movie. I love it. When I was a kid, I was reading about a Jassasa and I closed my eyes. And I said to myself, now I know who is a Jassasa. We have a neighbor, she is obviously mentally ill. Each time somebody stand under her window, she throw the dirty water on them. So I called her a Jassasa. The Messenger of Allah told us this is a true story. One day, Sayyid in the pulpit when some people were selling in the sea their food was finished and an island appeared to them they went seeking bread by the way this is one version of the story i will show you the other version of the story because muhammad he can't repeat the same version twice hold on yeah this one is nicer Yeah, let us see this one. This one maybe it's a. Uh, this one is from Better Family, but we have to skip the first one thousand word. Muhammad saying nothing. <clears throat> Muhammad he took this story from somebody who just converted to Islam and he was a Christian. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Speak. Hello. Are you a Muslim? Uh, you are the same guy from Canada who want to give me a drama about Muslim being good and they are people who fear Allah. Correct? Incorrect. Okay. Why well, you are calling? What do you think about what I'm saying? Your prophet is mentally ill or not? Something happened yesterday, Mike. What happened yesterday? felt the spirit talk to me. You said what? I felt the spirit talk to me. The spirit talk to you? Yeah, I think I'm going to... I think there's going to be some problems. I, uh, I'm not going to know how to get out of this. I don't understand. Explain to me what you are talking about. Well... You know what, maybe I shouldn't say it on the web. I think I'm going to be in danger by saying it. You're being what? Maybe it's going to be danger if I say it on the web. 
Okay. Are you, so did you decide to leave Islam? I probably shouldn't say it on here, man. I'll uh, I'll talk to you backstage. CP. You talk to me later. You mean? Yeah, I'll talk to you another time, my friend. Okay, but did you decide to leave Islam? Because each time you call me, this guy each time you call me, he says Muslim are better than the Christians. Muslim, blah blah blah, and now today is 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 out of his now. Okay. He said the the Holy Spirit spoke to him. I don't know what he's saying. Some something like that. I don't know. All right. What they can say. But last time he spoke to me, he gave me a lecture. You know, he accused me that I am not doing good work, and I'm dividing people, and you know, like he he draw an image of me as if I'm the devil. And today he changed. Look what happened. All right, sounds good. Let us go back to zero. So Muhammad, because he's a fraud, a person came to him, as you see, even the story saying he was a Christian who converted to Islam. He told me something Muhammad believed in it right away, and he started telling the people all over. He said, uh, he told me something which agree with what I was telling you about the Dajjal. He narrated to me that he sailed in a ship along with 30 men of Abani Lahum and Bani Judham and has been tossed by the waves in the ocean for a month. Then the waves took them near the land within the ocean island. At the time of the sunset, they set a small sideboard and they entered the island. There was a beast with long thick hair and because of this they could not distinguish his face from his back they said we to you who can you be thereupon the beast said I am Al-Jassasa <sighs> Brothers and sisters, Al Jassasa on down. When Al Jassasa is here, you better run to Kashmir. Al Jassasa is around, and she was so hairy to the point you cannot see the front from the back. Actually, I have a video of a sheikh showing us the picture of a jassas. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me zoom in. This is a video, by the way, from a TV station. This is a jassas? What? Is that a Bigfoot guy? <laughs> Brother, are you sure? No way. This is a Jassasa? Look, here they have a different picture for him. Come on. I wonder where I saw this before. This is Al Jassasa? No, this is the Jal, sorry. This is the Jal now. <laughs> yeah, one. <laughs> sorry, I have to mute the microphone. I can't stop laughing. Hardly I can breathe. Ugh. Brother, sister, Prophet Muhammad never lies. Never. Look, 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 I have another picture for a Jassasa. If, 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 this is a Jassasa. Yeah, she is very hairy. What the heck is that?
You know, the Muslims really, they are so good, man. Look, look, this is a Jassasa too. And that one in the right is the Dajjal. That's deep. I mean, we have to be honest here. You are saying to me that Muhammad is a stupid and mentally ill. Are you stupid or what? Hmm. How he knew all those things? I mean, those Muslims, they have a lot of fantasy. Look at this. What is All of this is the same person? Who? This is a Jassasa too. Look, look. A Jassasa. Look, 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 another, hold on, hold on, look, 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 what the heck is that? This is a picture of the Messiah, the Dajjal. This is the false Messiah. <laughs> Honest to God, guys, I'm not, I'm not saying things from my, I can show you the article. And not only that, the Muslim, they claim that the Hadith Muhammad is mentioning, this is in Cyprus. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, let me, okay, hold on, let me, you, you don't believe me, don't you? Shame on you. Let me open the article. To be sure first, there's nothing bad there. Because sometimes Muslims, they post articles in porn website. All right. Let us use Google Translation. Yeah, as I was ex expected, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of commercial you know yeah this is the same hadith as we mentioned hadith of tamim ad-dari about the antichrist the most controversial thing had arisen etc so this is this is supposedly a dajjal now brother I was thinking where I saw this guy before. I think in the White House. Going back to the Hadith. So they told them this is a Jassasa. And it is in Cyprus. And I said, oh people, Go to this person in the monastery as he's very much eager to know about you. Listen, the story is getting complicated. So now we have a beast in the beach. We have the Antichrist in the monastery in a cave. And he was and he is chained up. And I said, oh, people, go to this person is eager to know you. When it named the person for us, we were afraid of it. Last I should be the devil. Then we hurriedly went on till we came to the monastery and we found the well built person there with his hands tied to his neck. And having iron shackles between his two legs, up to the ankle, we said, We be upon thee, who are you? He said, Ha, 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 you would come soon to know, to come to know about me. But tell me, who are you? We said, We are people from Arabia, you idiot. And we embark upon the boat in the sea the way it push us here. And we got to the side of the boat and we entered the island and the island with the town we met a beast and the beast told us to come and see you. And the beast have a thick hair. We could not see his face from his anus. We say that we be to thee. Who are you? They have to tell him the whole story from the beginning to the end. Repeating the same thing. And she said, she's a Jassasa. And he says, go and meet this person. Okay, just to make it short. And we came to you. He, the one chained person said, tell me, 
Tell me about the date palm trees in the Basina. We said about aspect of their seek information. Like what the heck were you asking those questions, huh? Huh? We felt suspicious. He said, I asked you whether these trees bear fruit or not. We said, yes, yes, yes. Thereupon he said, I think this would not bear fruit. He said, inform me about the lake of Tabaraya. We said, which aspect you want to know? He said, there is water in it. They said, uh, yeah, a lot of water, man. What are you talking about? A lot of water. Abundance, abundance of water in it. Thereupon he said, I think it should soon become dry. Remember Muhammad said, soon dry? This is the Dajjal. In the time of Muhammad, 14 years ago, soon. Then he began and said, again he said, inform me about the spring of Zukar. Spring of what? Zukar. They said, which, 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 which aspect you want to know? He said, the chain person said, there is water in it and does irrigate the land. We said, yeah, yes, yes, uh, there is water in it and uh, does, uh, yeah, and uh, the inhabitants of Medina. Okay. Irrigate from it. Okay. He said, inform me about the illiterate prophet. Now, here, bingo. Now we are talking serious business. Bingo. Finally, we arrived to Muhammad, the illiterate prophet. The story, all the story is about Muhammad. But no, the, the rest is just a spice. What has he done? We said, uh, he has come to Mecca and uh, settled in Yathrib. Uh, he came from Mecca out, okay, and they went to Medina. And then he ate uh, shish kebab and ice cream. And he have a lot of wives, boom, boom. And his wife, Aisha, she is very old, six years old. And uh, okay. And then he said, they told him, you know, what happened? He says, we informed him. He had overcome those neighborhood. And he had submitted themselves before him. They be, he forced them to convert us now. Thereupon he said, as it it actually happened, the judge now is getting worried. Muhammad he overcome his neighbors. Really? He cannot be serious. We said yes. Thereupon he said, "Huh. If it is so, that is better for them." Look, Shaitan. He liked people to convert to Islam. He says it's better for them. I mean, you, can you believe it? This is supposedly the, the, the Antichrist. They should show obedience to him. Oh boy, the shaitan is teaching people to obey Muhammad. Mm, that, that's a different story now. Shaitan must, must be supporting Muslims. I am going to tell you about myself. I am. And he said, Dajjah. And he would soon permit it to get out. And I shall get out and travel in the land soon. You see, all of this proving Muhammad to be false prophet. I mean, if you read the story, is really messed up. And then he speak about Gog and Magog. And the Gog of Magog, they will drink the lake of Tabaraya. And all the drama. This is Muhammad. The one we are examining his mental illness and this is Muhammad after he received dish of faith and dish of wisdom <clears throat> and here the story continue he said I will stay for 40 night except the Mecca and Medina as these two places are forbidden area for me. He will control the whole earth for 40 days, 40 nights. But he cannot go to Medina or Mecca. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Let us see of you who is 
very fast fast in thinking is a thinker hmm? I know it take time for you to to receive the my voice there is a delay I will help you I will help you this is the reason because there is a sign in the highway it says Muslims only <laughs> Oh boy. By the way, Islam don't teach discrimination. They are not like the white people in South Africa. They have white bus and black bus. No. Here we have only highway for Muslims and highway for non-Muslims because non-Muslims are dirty. They will go to hell. That's why the sign is red. So at the jar, he cannot go there. He go, he see the sign. It says Muslims only. Are you kidding me? He is a very, you know, uh, uh, you know, like a law obedient citizen. He will never break the law. This is just Antichrist. He is not like not a big deal. He will control the whole earth, but he cannot go to Mecca. But just to show you how stupid Muhammad is, in one time, in in one place, like in many places, he said, he will not enter Mecca. In the other hadith, Muhammad, he says that he will attack Mecca and even the Muslims will use the arrows. Of a Dajjal and his army, which is Gog and Magog, for seven years. For wood, fire. Let us see. <laughs> this is another story about Gog and Magog. It's more funny. And if we read about it, we will dial off into. We can play for you videos of Muslims. It is hilarious. Uh... Uh, this is actually here. This is a clear proof that Muhammad is a big fat liar. Once he entered upon his wife and he was so terrified, he's really terrified. He claimed that Allah showed him that Gog and Magog, they made an opening, which means soon they will be here. Soon. Today, today, the danger coming near. You see it? A wee into the Arab from the danger that has come near. An opening has made in the wall of Gog and Mago, and this is 1400 years ago. Fraud. Let us continue. <clears throat> the same story you repeat all over. Uh... I'm just trying to find where he said that they will use Gog and Magog. Here, look, this is another story here. Gog and Magog, they are so big in number to the point they will drink the water of Tabaraya. You see that uh, the Jal, he asked them about a Tabaraya Lake. He said, does it still have water? They said, yes. Why he asked them? Because Gog and Magog, they will prepare his way. They will walk by Tabaraya and they will drink all the water. And by the time the last one of them pass, the lake of Tabaraya will be totally dry. Totally dry. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I want to show you, actually, this is endless. Let us see. Uh, let me make a better search than this. <clears throat> uh, 
Let us see. I'm just trying to find this hadith. Give me a minute. Let us see if we can find it. We showed it before, but I don't remember the exact word by word. Usually I remember them all. Uh, but you know, this idiot Muhammad have endless stories. Let us see if we can find this one. It's very easy to find the hadith in Arabic for me, but the problem is the English because you guys don't speak Arabic. Uh, yeah, look at this story here. The same, those are Gog and Magog. In this story here, Muhammad he can relate himself. The arrows of Gog and Magog, when they throw it at the city of Medina, is going to come back to them. You know, uh, <clears throat> let us see here. Abu Huraira, okay. <clears throat> yeah, as you see the story here. So they will shoot their arrows toward the sky and they will come back with the blood on them. The arrow. They will come back with the blood. I mean, very story. And then, if you remember, when uh, Yasser Kadi, he spoke about how those Gog and Magog, they will be uh, the end of them. He said, Allah will send animals like camels. They will grab them from their neck and they will destroy them. They fly. <clears throat> they are like camels, but they are big birds. And here there's a different story. Here it says, uh, after they defeat the people of the earth, the earth, and dominated the people of in the of the heaven, Allah will send a worm in in the naps of their necks, and will kill them thereby. This is a different story. So Muhammad have many stories about how they will be killed. <clears throat> Let us see. And then he claimed Muhammad that the animals of the earth they will be fat from eating them. Let us see if we can have another. And all of this, by the way, is coming from the Quran, if you remember. In the Quran, Muhammad, he claimed that Alexander the Great, he built a dam, if we go in the Quran. Chapter 18. In the Quran, when Zulkarnain, which is Alexander the Great, which is a fiction story, you know, uh, Muhammad is copying it, and this story is exists very famous long before us now. So when he arrived in that area, those people who do not speak any language supposedly, they said to him, Gog and Magog, they are creatures who they do mischief in the land. And we will pay you to build a dam between us and them. And remember, this is Al-Qurnayn, the guy who conquered the earth, and those people, they will pay him. He just occupied their land. 
Imagine Alexander the Great, he occupy the land. And now I say to him, we will pay you, man. Build it down for us. <laughs> and until now, this dam cannot be found anywhere, anytime. And the Muslim, they have tons of drama about it. In, the, in fact, the story of Gog and Mago caused a lot of Muslims to leave Islam with no coming back. Because this is obvious a story that Muhammad is a fraud. And because he have a mental illness and low IQ, he copy anything he hear. Let us see. <clears throat> when when Yasser Qadi he made the video about it, the Muslim they start swarming the guy from every every territory in the earth they were so upset for what he said especially about people leaving islam because of what he said gog and magog let us see give me a second so do we play this guy sajid he's funny he's a stupid i mean he is certified stupid Bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> Drugs. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Salatu salamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. As I was preparing for this video, which as you'll see, inshallah, it's a response to a lecture by Dr. Yasser Qadi about Ya'juj wa Ma'juj, I received a text message. <laughs> It was from a number I didn't recognize. It's Kogamago. It was very urgent. It said, Assalamu alaikum, Brother Sajid. It's an emergency. Please call me uh, as soon as you get this. So I stopped what I was doing. I stopped working on the video. Man. And I called this brother. Okay. And I asked him, Is everything okay? Are you, are no. you all right? No. He was like, No, Brother Sajid, everything is not all right. Everything's not okay. What What's happened? wrong? What happened? What happened? He said, my son doesn't believe in Islam anymore. Oops. I said, SubhanAllah. No way. What happened? What did he say? And the brother said, my son, you know, he's, he's too smart. He... <laughs> that explained why he left Islam. <laughs> Guys, can you believe it? The guy, he said to him, he said to the guy, why your son left Islam? He said, "My because my son is so smart. The, the voice is low. I mean, that is how the video is. I don't know what to do. I called this brother. And I asked him, is everything Let okay? Let me see if I can or, increase the right. sound. And he was like, no, Brother Sajid, everything is not all right. Everything's not okay. I said, what's wrong? What happened? He said, my son doesn't believe in Islam anymore. I said, SubhanAllah. What happened? What did he say? What happened? And the brother said, "My son, you know he's he's too smart. He obviously he reads so many books, and he's such a good student. And you know he he believes in science now. He believes in science and philosophy. He doesn't believe in Islam anymore. And uh, he wanted me to meet with his son. So, I said." Okay, sure, no problem. And we, we set an appointment to meet. And when I got off the phone, I was like, SubhanAllah, this is exactly, exactly what this video was about that I'm working on. This is it. That's it. It's about people preferring their so-called intellect over the revelation. Oof, 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 oof. So anyways, I met with this brother and his son, and we had a conversation. And I asked, okay, so what, uh, what's going on, you know? And he started talking about evolution, which he was taught in high school. He started talking about this psychology class that he took in high school, and this scientific theory, and that philosophy. And as he was comparing these philosophies 
and these scientific theories to the Quran and Sunnah, he said the Quran and Sunnah go against these, these scientific theories and philosophies, so I don't believe in them. So I asked him, I said, did you go to public school? He said, yes. I said, you went to public school for elementary, middle, and high school, and now you're in college here in America. He was like, yes. I was like, well, how much of the Quran have you read? And he said, well, you know, I've been through the entire Quran in Arabic. I was like, well, do you understand Arabic? He said, no. Do you? So I asked him. You do you, do you, 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 do you? <laughs> well, what about English? How much of the Quran have you read? Just shut up, shut up. You are boring. You know, you are boring. Anyway, I will show you a guy who is more, more smart. You know, I mean, this guy is really boring. Just forget about him. We have someone is smarter. He will explain everything in two seconds. We do not need a drama. He said to me, I said to him, the guy read Islam, that's it. All right. All right. You know, the, the, uh, uh, Aridawa, he is selling, uh, selling rags. Scammers. Okay, brothers and sisters. This is the guy who can give us the answer. Forget about the other guy. This guy, he have high school. This is the one he can do, give an answer. Go ahead, Lily. Wa alaykum as -salam, wa alaykum as -salam. This is something you stole from the Jews. Even the greeting you Muslims have, you took of, you took it from the Jews. You took it from the Christians. Okay, go ahead. Salam alaikum. Okay, salam. Shalom, shalom. Go ahead. Once again. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Take a note. A lot of you make a mistake. No mistake. Please, Ali Dawa, high school scholar. He speaks ten languages. None of you, you none of them, you understand. A lot of you make mistakes. What is mistake number one, brother? Stupid people. They try to comprehend. Disgusting people. You try to comprehend, you donkeys. You try to comprehend, you idiots. Aren't you ashamed? Oh, no sound? Ah, this is why you cannot comprehend. Okay, I will go back. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Dear friends, welcome once again to my channel, Yajuj and Majuj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about them in the Quran, and they are mentioned specifically in a hadith, brothers and sisters. Hmm. Now, one thing that a lot of people make a mistake, which I've seen, you know, people of knowledge, is that they try to comprehend and understand. I cannot believe it. That people are so stupid to the point they're trying to comprehend stories of Muhammad. You cannot comprehend Muhammad's stories. I mean, this guy is mentally ill. You can comprehend stupidity. You cannot. This is mistake number one. What they try to do, those are stupid people, my brothers and sisters, they try to comprehend. That is a no, big no-no. This is mistake number one. You don't do that. They try to comprehend and understand. How is, who is Yajuj and Majuj? Who? Where are they? How could they stay in a cave for so long? And dig, dig. What cave, you stupid? There's no cave. Dig. And just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that. You know, are, is your tongue free of your head? What, what you just said? Some parts of it, you know, are not authentic. Whatever it may be, I'm not trying to get well, into that. No, repeat, repeat. I can understand. There's issues with that narration, etc. Some you know, they stay in a cave for so long and dig, dig, dig. And just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that narration, etc. Some parts of it, you know, are not authentic. What, 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 what? Yeah, really? I mean, you know what? Forget about Gog and Magog now. We need to, you need to explain to us what you just said. 
What you just said again? Part of it, you know, uh, not authentic, whatever it may be. I'm not trying to get into that, okay? You know, you don't I'm, want to get into it. Like, so, what, so what are you talking about? I mean, the story is about Gog and Magog, and you don't want to get into that, but that is the story. That's deep. Big, and just when they're about to come out, and obviously, there's it should, some say there's issues with that. No, yeah, touch it, touch it, yeah. Etc., some parts of it, you know. Uh, uh, not authentic whatever it may be i'm not trying to uh, just skip it skip it man skip it that, that i mean that you know you know the devil is in the details you know that don't you right don't you you know little lily into that okay you know and then um Rukarnain and you know, you know there's so many speculations etc and a lot of people come and they're like don't speak dirty a lot of people come when they heard the story of Zulkarnain. shame on you what do you mean they comes Okay, I don't know. Maybe my English is not good. Play it. So, what say it again? A lot of people, what? And a lot of people come and they're like, some people even get into doubt with this matter. Some individuals even leave Islam. And I'm like, no way. They come. And after they come, they leave Islam. They don't leave Islam before they come. Do you think there is a relationship between they come and leaving Islam, brother? And now he is going to help you to understand the situation so you will not leave Islam. Number one, number one, solution, don't come. Number two, don't comprehend. Number three, don't understand. Number four, tell us more. Right. What's the issue here? What's Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter. I mean, that's the, what is the issue here? <laughs> Say it again, please, for entertainment purposes. Individuals even leave Islam, and I'm like, What's the issue here? What? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter because there are a lot of people and a lot of individuals who have tried to make people understand this and even... They are trying to make this understand this? You Muslims, some of you are trying to make people understand this? Are you stupid or what? You cannot do that because simply nobody can understand this anyway. And push the narrative of these certain ex-Muslims, you know, that, you know, people... Uh, are leaving Islam because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual and... And there, there, there's an individual, you know, he wanted to have intimacy and then in the end the, the as well, you know, he thought his penis and the have some, this was... I don't know, but I don't want to talk to him right now. What? What, 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 what you just say? I mean, you are deep in the topic, by the way. Are leaving Islam because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual and most of his reasons the, were because yeah. you know, he couldn't have intimacy with a lot of girls or something like that. It's deep. The topic is Gog and Magog, and the guy want to have intimacy with the girls. There's a connection. Okay, I don't think it was this issue at all, yeah? It was more of his desires. He is the same guy who made a video about every person is born as polygamist. Is it what he, what he said? Now he is saying that the Muslim who leave Islam because he want to have intimacy with a lot of girls. <laughs> but you can do that in Islam, not out of Islam. <laughs> Tell us more, tell us more. I thought everyone is born as a polygamist. Do you remember? You forgot? You forgot what you're saying? You are the one who says God cannot be inside himself, can't be inside as a creation. Another video you said Allah is inside as a creation. Continue. The point is this, that yeah. we fall for this. And then what we try to do is, in return, is like, I know, let's try to bring it down to a logical level and try to explain it in a logical way. Now, I've seen many people do these videos. Okay, many people. One of those was, uh, was uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi. You know, the thing is now, it's Ramadan. I'm not it's Ramadan. I don't gossip about people on Ramadan. After Ramadan, we finish, okay? I will gossip about him. I'm a good guy. It's Ramadan now. I, don't, I cannot do that. Already you screwed the guy. Same time, you idiot. How come when you speak about the Trinity, you say it's not logical? And now, why we want to understand the Quran in a logical way? I'm not here to talk about anybody, uh, etc. You okay? I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. All I'm just saying is, obviously, there's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi, uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, wait, 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 I don't wait. want to get into the details of the integrity. The point I'm trying to make is, he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this, why do... Shut up, shut up, hold on. What is that you have in the shelf? Do you have an idol? Astaghfirullah, the shin of Allah. 
What is this? This is going to be an idol. It's, uh, maybe it's a sex toy. I don't know. What is that? Okay, okay. We go back to the topic. I don't know what it is. Only Lee Dawa knows what it is. Okay, so what people are trying to do, trying to understand the Quran, stupid people, man, disgusting. I'm trying to make, because he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this. Why do we have to understand everything? Why? What's wrong with people? Why we have to understand everything? What's wrong with people? Why we have to uh, solve the problem? So that's it. Bingo. Anyone have objection? Why we have to understand everything? The second we speak about the Bible, it says it, this is not logical. This is we you know. Explain to me. The second we ask him about the Quran, we don't have to understand everything. Do you see the hypocrite Muhammadans? The pagan black stone kissers, man worshippers. Tell us more, tell us more. Why do we have to understand everything in the context where why does it always have to be logical? Why does it have to be something where we're like, oh, explain it to me logically, or you know, I'm gonna start doubting things. Hmm. We solve the problem. Why we have to understand everything and why it has to be logical. Do we have any Muhammadan? So, all this drama is why? Because Muhammad is a stupid, mentally ill person. He hears stories, he put it in the Quran as it is. Flying carpet, flying horse, Muhammad uh, uh, you know, he, he wanted to copy the story, the legions of Suleiman. Suddenly he himself as a flying in the top of a horse have to have to uh, or a donkey have two wings and his wings is located in his ass. Isn't it really funny that the donkey of Muhammad flying and he have two wings in his ass? Must be a true story. Any Muhammadan? Yeah. Do we have any Muhammadan? I mean, I'm here for the last three hours and uh, not a single Muhammadan here uh, calling us. That is not even fair. Where is the Muhammadan? Anyone want to convert me to Islam? How many of you will leave comments? How many of you will download the video? How many of you will share the video. Listen, I don't really care about people coming to watch my video. I care about people learning the truth. I get upset when I see that people don't really care. As you see, I care from my heart. I take what I do seriously, very serious. We change life of people here. We make history. We make a revolution. Muslims, they fear every word we say. You can change the future. You can. You can take hundreds of millions out of this garbage cult. Muslims don't fear war as much they fear words. This is why they forbid the Bible in every Islamic country. They forbid preaching, they forbid teaching, and you cannot understand. And you should not understand. Because the second you understand, you leave Islam as you see. I want to see people working, serving the Lord. You spend tons of years working, making money, having families. That's good. Good for you. But time will come and you ask yourself, all the years I did live, what I did, did I even respond to somebody helping him in something? So we share education with you so you can 
give immunity to your family, your friends. You teach them so those liars, scumbags, cannot fool them. They are bringing refugees from everywhere and they are Muslims. And the Muslims are very well trained to attack Christianity. Christian kids, they have no idea. Even when they go to the church, even adult, priests are teaching them nothing. They don't teach you really the Bible. They don't teach you how to refute people. They don't teach you how to debate. Because themselves, mostly, are just doing business. So our work is very important here. And I want to see people working with me, even though I am one man army. One man army. They fear me to death. So if what if we are 10 and the 10 become a hundred and the hundred become a million? Just imagine. One person making Islam make poo, -poo. You can open accounts in Rumble. In Rumble, they are not deleting anything. Open account in Rumble. You can keep posting. Keep posting into They delete it, post it again. Never give up. The devil, my friend, will fight you. Don't you, don't you see how I do my work? I, don't, I, I, I have people, they post my videos everywhere, and even they make living from my videos. Literally, they make living from my videos. I cannot even keep one video of mine. Because they knew how dangerous what I do. We are demolishing the garbage of Muhammad. So there is things you need to remember. Never give up. Never let the devil win. Never, never. The second you get up, you get you know give up or you get afraid, the devil he won. He will try to intimidate you. He will try to put fear in you. Many or many, there is, oh, what if I put a link, you know, the Muslims, they are aggressive people. So what if they are aggressive? Aren't you a man? Aren't you a believer? Same time, if everybody is posting videos, then everybody is posting videos. If it's only one, then they, they can't target one. But if millions of people, they are, conquering this God and trust me one can conquer this garbage especially if this one have no fear fear is your enemy people who fear they have no life the one who fear the highway he cannot drive the one he feared germs he cannot eat anything he can't even sleep in a bed he is have a phobia we are people who have no fear, for we have the Messiah, and they have the scumbag dead Muhammad. And because they are terrified, they use violence, not because they are strong. If you study the snake, you will see snakes bite, not because she is targeting you really, as much because she is afraid of you. And that is Islam. And even Muhammad, he described Islam as a snake. And he said Islam will go back to its hole. Islam will shrink, become so small, and will go back to its hole like a serpent. So let us put the snake in the hole. And those snakes, they will not survive their stupidity. In fact, we are glad to have those people. They become famous for Muslims because, as you see, we use their videos against Islam. I cannot find somebody showing us how stupid Islam is more than those guys. Why we need to understand? Why we need to comprehend? Why we need to be logical? Listen carefully. He is saying it. Islam is so stupid. It's religion of the stupid. You cannot understand it. You cannot comprehend it. It is just a stupid Muhammad making a story of fairy tales. And now you try to find how in the world this story is going to happen. You cannot do that. You just surrender to the devil. Okay. 
I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. All I'm just saying is, obviously, there's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasa Qadi, uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, it's just, I don't want to get into the details and the nitty gritty. The point I'm trying to make is, he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this, why do we have to understand everything in the context where, why does it always have to be logical? Why does it have to be something where we're like, oh, explain it to me logically, or, you know, I'm going to start doubting things. This is exactly why Shaitan fell into this See? Place. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to do something, bow down to Adam, he couldn't comprehend logically why he had to do that when he feels like he's better than him. The mm. problem is this, taking the aql over the naql. That is exactly our problem. Hey guys, did you know, did, uh, I know, uh, this guy, he don't speak Arabic by the way, this guy is donkey, he's now trying to say Arabic in words. Taking the aql, over the knuckle. Knuckle is the brain. So the problem is you try to use your brain over the copy paste and knuckle. Copy, knuckle is a copy paste, what Muhammad said. So they admitted that if you take, if you use your brain, you leave Islam. So do you see why we say those people are priceless to expose the garbage of Muhammad? If you remember in the beginning of this video, I showed you a video of a Muslim sheikh saying that you, your brain should be like a donkey. You tie it up. You tie it up. This is the video. Muhammad Hussein Yaqub, the mind is a donkey and you have to tie it up. Because if you don't tie up your brain, you will leave Islam. هي دي العقيدة إن أنت عقيدتك بتقول لك إن دماغك دي عبد لما سألوني النهاردة عن فلان من الناس قلت له مشكلة فلان دماغه They asked me today about somebody I told them the problem of this guy is his brain What does that mean? He's smart The problem is a brain He's using his brain This is his problem He is using his brain. This is the problem. The person, this person, he have a problem. He is using his brain. In the religion, you don't. You can use your brain only in limited. We gave an example about this before, that a person, he is going to visit the mayor, like the mayor of a town, like in Egypt, they have a umda for the village, so he is in control of the village, you know, and when you want to go to visit the the, the, uh, the umda or the mayor of the village, you are, you are taking your donkey with you. So you ride the donkey until you arrive to the square of the mayor. When you arrive to the mayor house, what do you do? You step down from the donkey and you tie up the donkey. And then he tie up the donkey outside and he go inside, he take off his shoes and he get in. If he get inside to the house of the mayor with a donkey, what will happen? The mayor will throw him out with his donkey. <laughs> and this is what you should do to your brain. So the brain is the same as the donkey, which brought you to 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 Allah. But you don't you don't go to Allah. You take your brain with you. You have to tie the brain out, and you then you enter to Allah. Otherwise, Allah, if you enter with your brain, he will throw you out with your donkey. When you arrive to Allah, you tie up, you do what? You tie up the, the brain, the donkey, and you enter upon Allah. This is what Islam is about. You have to tie up your brain for your brain is a donkey 
if you the problem with this guy he used his brain this is what Islam is about I hope today we have shared something good with you and don't forget you can subscribe to our patreon so you can receive notification and don't worry patreon is for free most of people who go there they don't even donate a penny uh, just to get notification you can be the same and I want to say thank you all for being here may the Lord bless us uh, with knowledge and truth and may the Lord uh, help us with more Muslims leaving Islam we are happy for this person from Canada he used to attack me each time he called me and he claimed Muslims are better than Christians and today something strange happened to him as I understood he says the Holy Spirit spoke to him or the Spirit spoke to him I don't know what he said so it sounds like he is leaving Islam so we are happy for this guy if this is what happened and um, I said to him don't worry about he said it's dangerous I say fear none fear none my friend the Lord is who we follow mankind they are dead and we fear none of them so happy to see even those who they are used to be aggressive against me they are leaving Islam one by one and you know remember a drop of water is very weak it look weak it sound weak it's very soft but if a drop of water is consistent and keep dripping is going to make a hole in the most hard rock you can imagine a drop of water so you can be a drop of water people will think of you as weak person but when you are consistent you have faith you never give up you will go through and you will do miracle for a drop of water can grow a tree a drop of water can open a hole can crack a wall a drop of water can be a river and then an ocean so join our drops of waters let us irrigate the Muslim world so we can save them from the stupidity of Muhammad and his fraud and we see you again this is your brother Christian Prince for serving you humbly for today God bless you.